When you look at the global context, of course, the UK uh, mini budget was a very sobering reminder of the perils of unfunded tax cuts. So how cautious and how responsible, therefore, do you think uh, this uh, spending plan was? Look, I think it was responsible. I think it is a cautious budget. No one was expecting this to be a big reforming budget. I think there's some very positive things there in terms of growth, um, a very big skills package, a, a uh, industry package of like 15 billion to start diversifying our economy, uh, a lot of action to get women participating, which will have a big economic uplift, record infrastructure spending. What we are concerned about in the context of that global environment is the deteriorating position which the budget lays bare. You know, a feeble 1.5% uh, GDP growth next year, only going up uh, to 2.5 in the outer years. Uh, you've got uh, unemployment set to rise. You've got productivity at a 60-year low, and it's productivity, as we all know, that, that is the principal handbrake on wages. And if we can get productivity right, we get our wages growing. We've got mm. wages still, you know, growing very slowly. So our message is it's a steady-as-you-go budget, it hasn't made the mistakes that we've seen in the UK, but, but the work of reform has to be done and we have to be willing to look at our tax system, our skills system, our workplace relations system, our regulatory system, to put ourselves in the box seat for the next 20 years. So herein lies the challenge, uh, Jennifer, uh, to support these multiple constituencies, uh, softening the cost of living uh, crisis for uh, Australians and uh, supporting uh, your members, supporting business, productivity, efficiency, alleviating labour shortages as well. Can this budget walk and chew gum at the same time? Can they do both? Well, I don't think this budget has, has uh, done that and I don't think it ever sought to do that. I don't think we can wait for a budget in May to sort some of these things out. Uh, we've got a labour shortage crisis and we've got to keep the foot on the pedal in terms of fast-tracking visa applications, making it attractive for people to come to Australia, filling those skill gaps. We've got to put our foot on the pedal on starting to look at our tax system, which is not going to raise enough revenue uh, and at the same time, uh, you know, is done inefficiently, which deters investment. We've got to look at business investment. It's as low as it was in the 1990s, last time we had a recession in Australia, a big, long... Sorry, Jennifer, can I, just clarify, can I just clarify one thing? Does this imply, then, that Australia needs to... Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.